Welcome back, everybody, for some more Kings of West Africa. The Philadelphia published uh, Battles of the Conquerors, except it's West Africa thing. We started off with Tenkamenin in 1076, and that was a little bit of a nightmare, but we, we got through it. Uh, number two will be Dunama in 1240, so what's that, like a, a 170 years later or so? Faith is a powerful force. It can bring out the best in men. Human humility, compassion, love, but it can also encourage hatred, violence, and war. I will tell you of another king. A three-month journey to the east. There is a lake in the desert. For centuries, kingdoms had prospered on the lake's shores, growing rich from the passing caravans and pilgrimage of worshippers to an ancient temple. Within this temple stood the Mune, a relic said to hold a god's spirit. But to a king named Dunama Dable Dabalemi, this relic was an affront to God himself. In those days, when a king betrayed the ways of his ancestors, he would be banished into the desert. Dunama, king of the Kanembu people, had betrayed his ancestors by conversion to a new religion called Islam. Banished from his city, he wandered the desert uh, with a few loyal converts. Though his throne was lost, his faith had not been taken from him. Dunama was determined to retake his city, but more importantly, to be a force for his god, destroying the moon. I do not know if it was the desert's madness, but I cannot imagine that god would have willed the bloodshed that followed. Imam, uh, the peoples of the lake are lost and sinful. We must go forth and bring them to righteousness. Um, are we in Lake Chad? Oh, here's the Temple of Mune. And we are Berbers. Uh, destroy the Temple of Mune, the Zaghua Wonder. Uh, secondary objectives, capture the monument of Njimi, uh, to conquer the city, and capture the monument of Bornu to capture the city. Uh, you have a pop limit of 200 and have access to both castle and imperial age. Oh, well, we start in imperial age. Duh. Uh, Dunama does not have interest in gathering resources, so take care of your units and always seek to convert new followers. Oh, boy. On uh, moderate and hard difficulties, your enemies will begin with faith research, <laughs> of course. It is crucial to protect your imams and your transport ship early, as you will not be able to train more units until you capture cities. Capturing either Najimi or Bornu, or both, by taking their respective monuments provides resources and access to military buildings. Only by taking Bornu will you have uh, be able to construct ships. Dunama's imams have been banished to a barren island in Lake Chad. Ah, yes, I was right. They must return to the lake shores to convert new followers to attack the Temple of the Moon. Uh, the temple is located on another island on the lake. It is defended by the Zagwa, sorcerers of the old ways. Dunama's army would be strengthened by conquering two cities on the lake shores, the northwest city, Nijimi, is defended by cavalry, while Bornu, uh, a port city in the south, is garrisoned by Shotel warriors. It's also known for a fleet of warships. Dunama's imams may convert followers from the migrating peoples around the lake. The Tubu fight on camelback from the deserts, while the Bilala uh, fight as gabettos and inhabit the savannah lands. Okay, well we already have dry dock, which is nice. So we're not going to go over here. Uh, they said northwest. Okay, there's Nijimi. Um. See if I can get some conversions. The imams are pretty tanky. Oh, that's right, they have faith. How could I forget? Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, I, I garrison them. Whoops. So yeah, this seems to be a monk scenario. Do these guys not heal? Wait, they do. Why, why weren't they healing? Now, do I have any monk text researched already? Okay, so we have Illumination, which makes our life just a little bit easier. But no block printing and no sanctity for Berbers means that they kind of missed, like, the two most important monk techs. So that's a little unfortunate. 
Oh no. Uh, oh, I lost him. Yeah, let's just restart this. I don't want to deal with losing my imam super early. Also, let's bump it up to fast speed. Okay. Keeping the Imams alive, it's great. We're just giving that one up. Okay. Go. Just heal everybody on up. And we're getting ourselves a little army here. Now, I imagine it's going to take a, a fair amount to get to Zagwa. Everyone's neutral to us except uh, Zagwa. Oh, well, the map's also very small again. But this doesn't seem like a super long scenario anyway. Okay. Okay, just kill that one, I guess. You know, you want to convert as many people as possible, but I, w I saw those two camels patrolling, and I want to be able to convert them both at the same time. But yeah, these imams have 4-4 four, four armor, so that's why they're nice and tanky. Where'd those camels go? I thought they would be patrolling back and forth. I could have sworn there were a couple camels somewhere. Okay, maybe I'm going crazy. Ah! Okay, maybe one conversion will go through. Maybe one conversion went through. Man, they have to have faith researched. Uh, let's see if there's any more convertibles around here. Convertibles? Like cars? I don't think so. Come on. Well, I at least got a couple. We should be coming up on uh, Najimi soon. Kanem people. Uh, take the monument and the city's towers 
and buildings will become ours. So, wait a minute, doesn't that just mean I can run units in? Ooh, these guys have plus two, plus two! Oh, random lag. Uh, let's just heal a little bit. Since we already lost one of our imams like a goober. Alright, where is the monument? Ah, here it is. Here it is. Um, why am I not capturing it? Yeah, that's definitely a monument. Um, okay. Oh, it's a kind of more lord. Whatever that means. It looks like Suman Guru. Anywho. Oh, they say Castle Age and Imperial Ace technologies because you don't get any Castle Age techs. Okay, so we got Najimi. And although our monks are pretty crappy with Berbers, and we lost one of our Imams because we suck, we're going to go ahead and focus on getting some... Some more monks. As well as some cavalry. Because we're Berbers. I still have my Imam, right? Oh yeah, here he is. Okay. Get these guys. This kind of reminds me of uh, the beginning of Francisco de, Alme de, Al de Almeida. There we go. Five. Where you have to convert everybody. Up. Up. Well, that was rather unfortunate. Maybe converting stuff isn't as good as I thought. I mean, just because they have faith, man, it takes a long time for any conversions to happen. Oh, that's a heavy camera. Oh, that one wasn't a heavy camel. I have a hard time telling apart uh, heavy camels from regular camels in DE. Probably just me being bad. Anyway, we've got Cavalier and plus one, plus two. Just heal up a little bit. And let's press on. Again, we just kill them before we can convert them.
Got him. I mean, we're making our rounds of the map. <laughs> Whoa, why are there these lag spikes? Okay, here are the Balala herdsmen. Or herdswomen. In this particular instance. Okay, let's go to Bornu. Man, these ladies have a lot of impaled people. That's somewhat alarming. Sorry, Mr. Lion. Okay, here's Bornu. Yes, it will. Now, where is it? Where are you at, homie? Well, let's kill these Shotels before they completely annihilate everybody. Okay, it's not that way. Unless it's over here. Yes, it is. No! God damn it. To use our amazing debate skills. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Okay, these guys also have a little bit of a navy. Oh. I guess I do have to transport over. This will make some fire ships. I doubt we'll need more than uh, one transport. Uh, what's Sagwa defended by again? I guess it's mostly going to be monks, right? So let's just make some scouts and some knights. Maybe I can even send in a scout. Go ahead and grab that. Five should be plenty. This really shows how much depth you could have had in an, in an Africa expansion. Africa-centric ex expansion. But we just didn't get that. We got Portuguese instead. Ripperino. Well, there goes Bornu. Wait, isn't this on an island too? Okay, so they have some Shotels and some Knights and stuff. Yeah, these guys don't seem to have a navy of any kind. Oh, that would have really made me uh, want to go for galleys if I had known that. Yeah, wow, I should have just gone for some galleys. 
Ah. Okay. Where's my tea port? Oh, I'm still totally in range. Again, this is like another scenario where you just have very limited resources. Anyway, this should be plenty. Oh, it only has 500 HP, too. Going okay. Just try and convert that guy back. Oh, they have heresy. That's unfortunate. Kill these guys, just to be safe. More light cav. And that should honestly be it. Pretty straightforward, honestly. Praise to be God. Praise be to God. There we go. <laughs> We have carried out his will and vanquished the unrighteous. Though it had been two centuries since the brown-skinned invaders brought Islam to Lake Chad, the old ways of Kanembu were slow to change. Dunanama spearheaded the adoption of Islam at the point of a blade. His zeal began a period of strife, weakening his kingdom in the face of migrating peoples. A mere two generations after Dunama's victories, his kingdom was collapsed, but was restored in the western shore of the lake in Bornu. Uh, the revived empire known as Kanem Bornu would rule the desert lake for centuries. Pretty nice KD. 13 conversions. How'd I get gold? See if I missed anything. I don't really, I don't really think so. Yeah, it, honestly, other than just me completely failing and losing my monk super early on, it really wasn't that hard. It was very straightforward and very short. But, I mean, it was nice. It was nice. It was just a nice, tiny little scenario. There were just a few fish here. A few salmon. Anyway, guys, that was Dunama, 1240. And next will be Omalo, 1260. See you guys next time.